I was going to try to record this outside. I'm not going to record this outside. My device is too hot. My phone keeps shutting down. My head's going to melt. And the fucking death ball in the sky will kill us all. But that's kind of the theme of this video. So here's me inside. Hey, everyone. Yeah, back inside now. It is rough outside. Um, this goes to everyone coming to DEF CON, by the way. I've been out here all week. This is the week before the week before DEF CON. This is, how long have I been in Vegas? Do I live in Vegas now? What even is time? Sorry, didn't get a video out last week. Yeah, I'm in Vegas, uh, obviously, at RTA, building some special shit that you'll see at Black Hat and elsewhere this summer. But speaking of the summer, literally, it is, what the fuck time is it? It's like 1 a.m. right now, and I'm pretty sure it's over 100 degrees outside. It has been over, at or over, 115 degrees straight temperature during the day. That's in the shade temperature. In the sun or in a car that's been sitting in a parking lot, you almost can't fathom unless you're from the American Southwest. Please, please keep this in mind. I know most of you have your hotel reservations squared away. Most of you know what you're doing. If you are not literally staying in the Marriott across the street from the convention center, Jesus Christ, buy a hat now. Buy a parasol. Buy a cape that you will wave over your head with like old timey, like Surrey type poles and canopies. Do something. It is brutal in Las Vegas. I don't know what the weather's gonna be in a couple weeks, but I don't know it's gonna be much better than this. That being said, this is kind of a video about the weather. Uh, not so much a video about being on vacation because you can't make modifications probably to your dwelling when you're on vacation, unless you're in a real shitball Airbnb where the host is like, cool, you made improvements, I'll knock $25 off. No, this is actually, a, <laughs> it was inspired by uh, the Seattle summer. We had a heat wave in the Pacific Northwest pretty recently. We're gonna keep having extreme weather more and more because we can't get the climate under control because old men and oil companies rule everything. But if you are in a place that historically has not needed air conditioning and you're in the market for some air conditioning, you might be looking at window units. By the way, uh, my buddy Alec, Technology Connections, I'll put a card or I'll link a thing. He has a whole video about certain kinds of in-room, like portable air conditioners and why they're terrible. Essentially, if you're, pull, if you're sucking air in from the outside and not like venting it, you're, you're, just, you're, you're pulling in air through all the gaps and seams in your house and it's not as good as a unit that pulls air in, vents air out, pulls air in, vents air. It, watch, his, watch Alex's video. But really, one of the things, like window unit air conditioners are still some of the best options you can have. If you can't get a mini split or a proper, you know, forced air, ducted air system, window units, solid stuff. They will, they're, they're loud and they're a little hassle to freaking move around, but they're great. The problem is installing them. And again, like a lot of people in Seattle a lot of us don't have air. Most of, most of us have air conditioning, people I know, but like where we, again, we're renting. Who the fuck knows? Our, we're not going to have air conditioner. You know, you don't need it. It never gets above goddamn 80 degrees usually in the Northwest. We threw some window units in, and as you can see from some footage I'm going to show you here, right, like the seals are not great. Um, it's leaky. The, the, the window sill we had doesn't mate well with the size of air conditioners that everyone makes. I needed a better solution. So here is a cheap hack for you that looks pretty good. You're gonna need three things, starting with foam core. Go to your local arts and crafts store, get foam core, measure it to the size of your window pane and the size of your air conditioner, right? You can make a square, cut that shit out. Then you need expanding foam and drop cloth, plastic drop cloth sheeting. Make yourself a Dexter murder room. Uh, you can go way bigger than this, by the way. What you're seeing here, you can go feet in all directions because you're going to cut this later. I, I got a little tight, more than I needed. You got your foam? Spray that shit. Just cake it on good. Again, your plastic sheeting is going to cover everything. You're not going to get it on your windowsill. You're not going to get it on your air conditioner. You're going to cake this on right over top of that plastic sheeting. You're going to do this and then squoosh it down, technical term, with that foam core. 
get your foam sprayed everywhere good and ready to go, here you go. Give her a solid, ugh, just press that shit in there. Boom, 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 boom. Get you and your loved ones, your cats and your dogs to all push hard on it and hold it in as good as you can until it shures up. Once that sets and hardens, you're just gonna go around with your X-Acto knife, slice off that plastic around the air conditioner, peel it away. You know that satisfying feeling when you peel the plastic off of a new appliance, a TV screen, a microwave? You get to have that feeling. I didn't even cut it at the bottom. I couldn't get under there with the X-Acto, so I just kind of did a little tuck and roll, and there you go. Now you've got a gorgeous, gorgeous seal. In fact, what I did, I even took a spare chunk of the foam core that I had cut out when I was slicing to fit the window frame, and I just kind of tuck it behind for a little, 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 little nice edge. But now, I don't know if any of you have ever used uh, Instapack or any kind of self-expanding packing material. I, again, we ship a bunch of stuff in Pelican cases all the time. This is what you, you basically made an Instapack sort of insulation set for your window. And if you have multiple windows, if you have multiple air conditioners, remember which one is which, kind of make a little mark in the corner, take notes, because at the end of the season, you're just gonna pull this whole thing off the window. You can pull the, pull the plastic off, pull the foam core off, take out the air conditioner, and then it's gonna perfectly fit in that window in the future. So do you think it looks shitty and hacky? Maybe. I did it for about 19 bucks. And literally, the, like last week before we did this, Tara and I were talking, we're like, man, this is brutal. We're getting, like, it's, it's cooling off, but it's not good. The moment we did this to the, to the air conditioner, she came downstairs. She's like, holy shoot, it's way colder in here. What'd you do? I was like, it's not even set to 69. It's set to 71. And it's, it's better than it was. So my stupid, dumb hack from me to you, has this been explored by other people? I'm sure. I'm sure there's other videos online, other guides online that say to do this or other things. And again, like if you live in a house where you're permanently putting a window unit in, I've seen people, contractors, like do it really proper with all kind of sealant and aluminum tape and everything like that. I wanted something quick, dirty, and 80% effective. I think I did even better than that. You tell me, do you like it? Do you think it's dumb? Are you weathering this heat okay? Where the hell do you live? Tell me down below where you're checking in from and how the summer's been treating you. Tell me if you're coming out to Vegas. And remember, um, look on my channel or else I'll, I usually, not tweet it, but I usually like throw it on Mastodon or Blue Sky. Remember the in-room hotel thermostat hack, right? Put it on VIP mode, limited environmental. Get your room temperature down nice and good, even if you're not in the room, because that, that sun, man, that sun is going to be beaten on your windows in the hotel rooms. You're going to come back from DEF CON just trying to get a moment of brief relief while you shower and change before dinner and your room's like 85 degrees. So use all the tricks, use all the tools at your disposal. Stay safe out there, stay safe inside, hopefully most of the time. Nobody get a heat stroke, okay? Watch out for yourselves here at the DEF CON shoot out in the desert. I don't run that anymore. I still get messages from people asking me about when the shoot is, how to sign up. That's CS, that's everyone on the crew now. Love them to death, they're doing a great job. I'll be out there, I'll be shooting some stuff. I'll be everywhere. I'm a moving target at DEF CON. Everyone who's written to me, everyone who says they want to say hi, love that, love that. Come say hi to me. I don't know where I'm going to be. I'm going to be at the poker tournament. I'm going to try to be at, obviously, Bobbick. Come see Bobbick and Nick and everyone. Come see their talk about HID, stuff you could not believe about HID uh, that we have been working on for a long time and working with HID. Old days of like, ah, drop the O day. Like, that's, that's the old way of doing things. Nowadays, coordinated disclosure, working with the vendor and getting their buy-in so that they actually want to keep collaborating and working with the hacker community. That's what we want to see. Proud of them, proud of all of you who make it out and brave the sun and the heat and everything else to be in Vegas. See you at Black Hat at the trainings. See you at DEF CON in style. See you at Red Team Alliance if you come, come by here. We'll be here. Okay, that's enough yapping from me. Sorry I didn't get a video out last week. Hopefully I'll get a video out next week. We'll see, it's a crazy time, it's the summer, but wherever you are, whatever you do, stay safe out there.